Hey guys, welcome back to a new video which is about canvas in Jetpack Compose. And with canvas, we can draw shapes. We can draw simply anything we want. In this video, we'll see some simple stuff that we can do, like drawing circles, rectangles, and also squares, and how to position them and color them with different colors. So let's get started. All right, the first thing I want to do here is just create my canvas in a different function. So compose, let's call it canvas screen, for example, and then we'll start from here. So let's actually call that function from here, canvas screen. To start drawing our canvas or our shapes, we can use the canvas composable, which is this one. That takes a modifier. So let's pass that modifier to it. And then all I want to give it is a size so we can actually draw things inside it because otherwise it won't have any size. Fill max width and then height, let's give it like 500 dp. And then let's just give it some padding as well so we can actually separate it from the screen itself. So padding, let's go for 20 dp. And then let's give it a background so we can actually see it. Background, let's say color dot blue, for example. And then let's run the app. All right, here is our canvas composable. And this one gives us a draw scope. Inside here, we can start drawing. While we are drawing, we want to position our shapes that we draw in different parts in this canvas or in this draw scope. To do that, we actually need the size and the width of our canvas. So for example, now we don't really know the width exactly because we say fill max width. So if this is a tablet, then that's a large width. In a phone, it's small, so we don't really know the width. To get the width, we're going to write vol width is going to be size, which comes from this, this draw scope dot width. And that's going to be the same for a height, size dot height. Now we have the height and width of our canvas. Of course, that is in float, so in pixels, this is not DP, this is pixels. And then we want to draw the first thing, a rectangle, a simple rectangle. We also want to give this rectangle a width and a height, so let's just define those. Vol, break width is going to be 60 DP, so 60 dot DP. But as I said, we want pixels because with canvas, we actually deal with pixels, not DP, to pixel like this. Now we get the pixels out of 16 DP. That's for the height as well. Now let's draw our rectangle. So draw, as you can see, we get actually a lot. We can draw a path, a rectangle, circle, image, line, and oval, like a lot of things. We can draw simply anything, as I said. Now we are going for rectangle. So draw rect like this, and I'm going to give it a color. That is yellow, so color dot yellow. Now here is my rectangle drawn, but now it takes the whole space. For that, I'm going to give it a size. So size is going to be size that now takes width and height, of course, in pixels, but that's a float, but we want pixels. So size, the width is going to be rectangle width. The height is going to be rectangle height. All right, so now we define it with its size, which is 16 dps. As you can see, it's right there. But now what I want to do with my rectangle is that instead of having it all the way here, I want to bring it to the center. And what we have inside this draw rectangle function is top lift. So now we deal with the top left corner. We can put it anywhere we want. So we can move it using offset. Offset, we define the X and Y or the horizontal position and vertical position simply. So the X is going to be width. It's also give it an, a Y that's width, I mean height. But now as you can see, it goes all the way there because the height of my box is 600 dps and it's right there. And then the width is this one that we get from here and it's right there. But what I want to do is actually put this top left uh, corner in the center here. So for that, let me just remove these like this. It's actually dividing this by two and doing the same for this one. Now what's happening is that this top left corner is actually in the center of my canvas, not the box itself, but only the top left corner. And simply, if I, for example, just keep dealing with the X, if I, for example, remove this one, it will come right here. So it's all the way at the end of the width. Or if I say width minus, and then I remove 20.dp to pixels, it then it will come somewhere right here. If I remove, let's say 200 dps, it goes right there. If I want it, as I said, in the center, I divide this by two, and then it's just, I get the width, and then I divide that by two, so this is the center. But now what I want is the entire rectangle itself in the center, right here. And what I can do is, if I want now to bring this rectangle to center, I just need to push it to the left by half of its size, and then bring it to the top again 
by half of its size so this point right here would be somewhere here but then if i take it to the top then this point will be somewhere right here so that says it's in the center to do that I will go right here and then all I'm going to do is removing actually the half of my rectangle size from the width. So like this, width minus rec width, as you can see, and then the same with the height, height minus rec height. Now it's exactly in the center of my rectangle or of my canvas as you can see. So now the center is right here because what I did is that I removed half from the width and also half from the height by actually dividing both of them by two. So now we have a rectangle that we draw and also we position it in the center like this. We can position it anywhere we want. So if you want, if you want it somewhere right here at the top, then we can just not change the height and then go for a zero if like this, as you can see. And uh, now I actually want it in the center, so I put it in the center. The next thing we'll be drawing is a circle. So let's go down here and then let's draw a circle that I want to be somewhere right here. For that, we already have a function that does that draw circle, as you can see here it is. And of course, here I pass the color. I can of course pass a gradient using a brush and now it actually starts with the circle. The color of the circle, we can always pass a brush to give it a gradient. So let's say, want to give it some vertical gradient and then we'll have a list of colors. Let's say the first color is going to be color. I don't know why the app crashed, but color dot, let's say black. And then the second color is going to be yellow again okay let's just open the app now we don't have anything at all anyway let's run it here it is and here is my gradient now the circle is too big i'm also actually going to give it the same width and height as i did with this one so for this one we'll go right here and now we don't have a top left attribute or parameter because my circle does not have a top left corner what i have is the center right here so center and then this takes an offset just like this one i can pass an offset Okay, and then I'm going to give it a radius, which can be the size if you want to say. So radius, let's go for, let's say, 16.dp, two pixels, because we want the pixels as well. As you can see now, the center of my circle is right here, so it's width minus half of my rectangle, but I actually don't want that. I just want it to be in the center, so I can just divide my width by two, like this, as you can see. Now it's the center, but still not in the height. If I want to do that, then I'm just going to divide the height by two. Now it's perfectly in the center. But as I said, I want it somewhere right here. To do that, all I'm going to change is the height offset. For that, I'm going to bring it right here. That is going to be, let's say, first of all, 16.dp.2 pixels. Now it's all the way to the top there, but I want to push it down a little bit by actually adding something, let's say, 30.dp.2 pixel. Now it's right there. Now what we are going to draw is a rectangle and actually we don't have a draw, uh, actually not rectangle but triangle, I'm sorry. We don't have a function called draw triangle. We need to manually draw it. So to do that, we need to draw a path. And so in this video, we'll also learn how to draw a path. So with paths, you can draw simply anything. Let's say our var rectangle path is going to be a path dot apply. And now here we get a path scope and we simply can start drawing our path first of all we need a pen and this path scope gives us a pen that we need to position somewhere and then start drawing from there so we can write move to and then we need to define where we want our pen to start for us we just need to define where it should be for example if you want it right here right here wherever and what i'm going to do is actually put it below the rectangle so somewhere right here so for that i still want the horizontal axis or x is going to be center so just like this x is going to be width divided by two now my pen is actually right somewhere here but still it's not at the bottom because now I just defined its horizontal axis. Now I need the vertical one. So to push it to the bottom right there, all I'm going to do is pass in the, X, the Y, I'm sorry, that is going to be height. Now, since I defined it height, it's all the way here, but I want it here. So I'm just going to reduce the height a little bit. So now it's there, I'm going to reduce it until it's here. So I'm going to write minus, let's say 100.dp, two pixels. Now my pen is exactly right here. I can now start drawing my path. So let's go below this one and write line two. So now this will give me a line from where my pin is to a position or an offset I will define. So as you can see, it takes a Y and X or an X and Y. Now my pin is here. 
to the OX angle, I need to draw a line all the way here. So from here, all the way here. Okay, now I need to define this exact position. To do that, the X is going to be width divided by two. Now I'm right here, so below where my pin is, but I want it to be a little bit here, so somewhere here. For that, I'm going to remove, let's say, 50 dot dp dot two pixels so i'm right here and then i removed 50 dp pixels so somewhere here now for the height so as i said now i'm here i need to push it so i just pushed it here but now i need to push it to the bottom as well so to be somewhere here so for the y that's going to be height minus 60 dot dp dot two pixels so the height is going to be clearly here minus 60 here so now my pin is here and I just draw that line right here because this is the offset I defined it. Now what you want to do is draw another line right here. So now we have this, now we need this. Let's just copy this one and then paste it. Now we need to define this offset somewhere here. So instead of removing 50, now we are going to add it. So this is now the middle, we're going to add 50 dps all the way here. And then for the height, that's going to be the same. So height all the way here, and then remove 60 dp, so somewhere here. Now I need to draw the last line, which now connects this one to this one, to the position where I started from. So let's just copy this one again, paste it. And now to connect it, I need to go back here, where my pen is. And I'm going to get that right from where I actually positioned my pen, so we can just copy this one. So I'll go back right here, and then that's going to be the same for the height. So now I draw the three lines. First of all, I have this pen that is right here and then i draw a line all the way here with this one so the width minus two i mean divided by two minus 15 so right here and then i pushed it to the bottom by the height minus 16 so this is the height minus 16 so i'm right now right here and then again i pushed or i draw another line to the middle of the width plus 15 so i'm right here i draw the line to the middle plus 50 so right here and then I stayed in the same position when it comes to the height, so I'm still right here, so I'm still in the same position, but just the width is different. And now I need to go back to actually connect my line. So I need to go back to where my pen is, so right here, all the way here. So now we have the path, we just need to draw that path. We can go right here and then write draw path, passing my path, so path can be my rectangle path. Actually, this is a triangle, not rectangle, so that was a mistake. So we just fix that. And then, yeah, that's now the name of my path. The color, so let's give it a color that is going to be color.green, for example. So here is now my triangle, as you can see. And to make it look even better, so let's just position this one by actually removing 150. And here as well, to connect it 150. Now it's a much better looking triangle that I can give any color to it, any gradient. And even if I want it to be complex, as you can see when I did this, it was a really weird shape and it's even weirder like this. So as I said, you can draw simply anything with canvas. And this is just an introduction to this canvas. There's a lot more to do here. For example, if you actually change the size of these canvas with some animated values, which actually was the topic of the previous video in which we used animated states, and then you just define that animated state as the size. So this rectangle keeps being big and small, or even this triangle keeps spinning based on those animated states that you can simply use with this canvas that we draw right here. And this is it for this video, and this is also for this Jetpack Compose playlist, in which I cover all the topics, necessary topics that you need to start working with Jetpack Compose, from basic stuff like boxes and columns, and to the most complex stuff like animations and also canvas. If you enjoyed this playlist, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like to this video to support the work I do. See you and bye.